Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is RNA-based antiviral. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. Every year, farmers worldwide battle plant viruses for which there are no direct cures unlike bacterial or fungal infections. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, pests and diseases destroy nearly 40% of global crops annually, resulting in losses exceeding 220 billion US dollars. Of this, plant viruses alone account for over 30 billion US dollars. One of the most damaging viruses is the cucumber mosaic virus, CMV, which infects more than 1,200 plant species, including vital crops like cucumbers, squash, cereals, and medicinal plants. Now let's discuss about RNA silencing, natural defense mechanism of plants. Plants naturally defend themselves through a mechanism known as RNA silencing. When infected by a virus, plants detect double-stranded RNA, which activates enzymes called dicer-like enzymes. These enzymes slice the viral RNA into small interfering RNAs, which help the plant identify and destroy the viral genome. However, this natural process is often inefficient because not all small interfering RNAs are functional, and viruses can mutate rapidly to evade detection. Now let's talk about RNA-based technologies. To strengthen plant immunity, scientists have developed RNA-based technologies such as host-induced gene silencing and spray-induced gene silencing. HEGS involves genetically modifying plants to continuously produce virus-targeting double-stranded RNA, providing internal defense throughout their life cycle. However, Regulatory hurdles, production costs, and concerns about viral resistance limit its broader application. SIGS, on the other hand, is a non-genetically modified approach where plants are treated externally with RNA sprays that trigger immune responses. While SIGS is more environmentally friendly and cost-effective, traditional double-stranded RNA sprays produce random small interfering RNAs many of which are ineffective against viruses. Now let's discuss about new discovery. Effective double-stranded RNA Scientists engineered effective double-stranded RNA enriched with highly functional small interfering RNAs, targeting the virus more precisely. Key features, precisely attacks vulnerable regions of the virus's genome Simultaneously, targets multiple regions, making it difficult for the virus to mutate and survive. Can be redesigned within a month to tackle new virus strains. Now lastly, moving on to challenges and future directions. Stability in outdoor conditions. RNA molecules degrade quickly under sunlight, rain and microbial activity. Researchers are developing nanoparticle-based delivery systems to improve durability, cost, and scalability. Though production costs are decreasing, large-scale application remains expensive and requires further innovation. Regulatory approvals. The US granted the first approval for an RNA-based crop protection product in 2023. Regulatory processes in countries like India may require more time and development. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about RNA silencing. 1. RNA silencing is a plant's natural defense mechanism against viral infections. 2. RNA molecules are highly stable under sunlight and do not degrade quickly in the outdoor environment. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.
For more informative content, like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.